Morning, boys and girls. This is Skylark. We're going to do chapter two today, two and three, I think, but not together. I'll separate them. So chapter two. Okay, there's a little question I have that I want you in my little reading circle club. I want you to listen for, okay? And the question is, what was between the lines in Jacob's letters that Sarah loved? She's going to explain that to Caleb, that there were things between the lines. And let's read to hear what those might be. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, chapter two. The days grew hotter, the sun beating down on us. We stayed inside as much as we could. Even Nick and Lottie stayed inside, stretched out on the wood floor to keep cool. Papa walked the fields, measuring the level of the water in the well over and over, waiting for rain. He came in, bringing the dirt with him. Papa! I poked at his feet with the broom. Your boots! I was sweeping, trying to keep the dust out and Sarah was scrubbing the kitchen floor on her hands and knees. Papa was hot and tired. Well, that may be the last washing for the floor, he said to Sarah. We have to save the water. Well, that's a mixed blessing, Sarah said, brushing the hair off her face. She watched Caleb and feed Seal. Don't feed her too much, Caleb, said Sarah. She's getting fat with that food. Papa looked closely at Seal. I think she's more than fat, Sarah. Sarah looked up, what? What does he mean? Asked Caleb. I smiled. Kittens, he means kittens, Caleb, I said. Caleb and I spoke at the same time. Can we keep them all? I asked. When will she have them, Papa? Asked Caleb, excited. I don't know, Caleb, said Papa, drinking water from the tin cup. Sarah sat back. Has she ever had kittens before, Sarah? Asked Papa. Sarah shook her head. No, never. Papa smiled at Sarah. She stared at Seal for a long time. Kittens, she said. Her face suddenly broke into a smile. Kittens? Late light fell across the bedroom and window close to the prairie wind. I held Sarah's wedding dress up to me and looked in the mirror. Anna! I jumped, startled, and Sarah smiled at me. I didn't mean to frighten you, she said. I looked in the mirror again. Someday I'll marry and move to my husband's land. That's what Papa says. Oh, he does, does he? said Sarah. That's what you did, Sarah. You came from Maine to marry Papa. I told her. Sarah was silent for a moment and she sat on the bed. Yes, she said suddenly. I guess I did. You fell in love with us, said Caleb in the doorway. I did that, she said. But first your letters and then you. Did you fall in love with Papa's letters too? Before you knew him? Asked Caleb. I sat on the bed and stretched Sarah's face. Watched Sarah's face as she remembered. Yes, I loved your Papa's letters, said Sarah softly. But I loved what was between the lines most. Well, what was between the lines? Caleb asked. Sarah looked at me when she answered. His life, she said simply. That was what was between the lines. Papa not is always good with words, I said. Sometimes, yes, said Sarah, laughing. But when I read your Papa's letters, I could see this farm and the animals and the sky and you. Sometimes what people choose to write down on paper is more important than what they say. Caleb didn't know what Sarah meant, but I knew. I wrote in my journal every night. And when I read what I had written, I could see myself there, clearer than when I looked in the mirror. I could see all of us. I could see Papa, who couldn't say always what the things he felt in his heart, Caleb, who said everything, and Sarah, who didn't know that she had changed us all. Leave my little kitty in the back. Bobby. So in the end, every night, Anna ends with a little journal entry. Sarah loved the snow. We don't have drifts of snow in Maine, she said, and she waited and she watched for it. And she could paint the prairie snow with morning sun on it. She taught me to paint with watercolors too. We painted the barn and the tree by the cow pond. 
and we painted the sky just after sunset, which was Sarah's favorite time. When you can't tell where the colors come from, Sarah said, the end.